at uh, F tilt two frames. And when you have kids like Palu, who's t when teleport recoveries don't, they have a little bit more than the two frames of vulnerability at the ledge. It, it can definitely be a problem, but the classic fair into dash attack. Your bread and butter's coming out. Oh, smubs. Someone didn't disconnect their pro controller. Why is pause on? I have a few questions, but somebody not disconnecting the pro controller. But we're just gonna get right back into it. Okay. Oh, Smub expecting like a roll read there, but can he get his one of his jumps eaten by the Palu? Oh, it's barely making it back, and Seagull should be that. That does hit ledge, but I don't think Smub spaced it well enough. Dash attack. First option there. Does deal a decent amount of knockback. And the side B's gonna kill. Yeah, high percent there. Decent amount of rage. That, that move is really strong at higher percents. That just that is naturally how the game works, but. Especially this, this I forgot what, there's like a really good name for it, but Seagull though, trying to read a jump, jump forward there. The up air, and yeah, Smub coming off the ledge with a fair. This built some damage. And anyway, that Nair covers a lot of distance. And can definitely be hard to punish at times. Oh, great air dodge, just choosing not to recover with up B. Just knowing that, knowing that he can cover there, but Seagull making, punishing him for trying to poke. Muff keeps trying to read Seagull. He keeps him trying to F smash a lot of his options. Dash that coming out. Seagull, Seagull keeps him trying to go mid stage. Feels like a lot of times. Just do general option coverage. And Smup. Fair. See the fair dash attack. That's not dead. Not enough rage coming out from Smup, but up to it kills there, I guess. Maybe it could have been a bad DI, but I. He's dead. Doesn't matter how he died. We're gonna see the we're gonna see a lot of aerials coming out from Seagull to try to stuff any approach that Smub does. Smub, a Ridley, of course, not being the best character to camp with due to the lack of good, easy projectiles. Yeah, side B's trading and instantly comes up with a fair. Oh, angled, angled uh, up he. Smub going low. Rolling past Seagull. Seagull, oh, Seagull trying to, Seagull is trying to uh, catch one of Smub's options, but Smub is grabbing him out of it. And Smub going down, straight down with that. Scrim mash also from Seagull right there. So I, I don't know why Smub keeps going, Smub keeps going through death smashes. I get it, they're going to kill if they hit, but you're also getting, you're getting punished a lot for them. Seagull not getting a, anything off his single nair. And here we go. Ridley. Far. Ridley in the lead is really scary. Because once again, you're... You're... Or... You have to try to find a way to get in on this... Big character that can... Has, move, has aerials... That are bigger than some characters. And... Kill power... Galore. But... Also, he has a very poor disadvantage, to say the least. And Palo character that can definitely has a really good advantage, believe it or not. Going high. Not gonna Seagull not gonna hit him with the up air. And Smub at ledge. I mean Smub keeping Seagull at ledge. Hitting him with F-tilt. Smub missing miss, missing these F-tilts, but staying at a decent distance away. They can still punish Seagull for any option he tries to do, such as jump. And jumping from ledge against Ridley. Kind of hard to do, believe it or not. Once again, his aerials are big. And then they are going to take it. I can see the band. I wonder. I do wonder what some of his bands are. I wish maybe we could get like a mic down there, maybe just hear them. But... See Seagull thinking for a little bit.
choosing to go town, it's understandable for both these characters how much they can do. You get a smaller blast zone, but there's a stage for Ridley, which can definitely work in your favor because you have a lot of moves that kill off the side really well. But the same can also be said for Palu. Plus, the platforms, platforms definitely help really a lot because with the moving ones, you can catch, char catch characters and then they move outwards. But definitely, you also have more space to move around. You can definitely mess up really just due to the fact that you know not great, not a, like not a projectile user doesn't really have options to camp out like that. And if you can keep out really, you're doing really well. But you give you give really an inch, and he could he really was need to like take a stock or just get you a decent amount of damage. Great mash coming out from Seagull there. And that rapid jab is not safe. Smub has Smub having Seagull at the just at the like general in the ledge area. It's definitely scary enough because back here, uh, back here can take it. Up smash actually can definitely take it now. But yeah, Seagull just panic air dodging in. And so I'm not going for an F tool, just trying to maybe greet another jump. Off stage. I'm trying to ledge jump him. And he's gonna die for that. Smub get him back. And able to just get the uh, sweet spot F tilt. Great air dodges. Great air dodge back. Side to ledge. And what's up, wife? Sort of, sort of, I missed. Uh, game one win for Smub. Relatively close. Okay. This one, not as close. Bigger stage, okay. you know. Try to play Ridley in, Ridley in disadvantage against a Halloween with advantage. Yeah, that's a, that's a fun time. Yeah. He deserves it, though. I hate this character. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> uh, see Smub air dodging back. Air, Smub is getting some pretty decent air dodge. Mm -hmm. Back to ledge. It's just Ridley's disadvantage is just, regardless, it's just not that good. And oh, it's really bad. Seagull Joe is just doing a good job of keeping the pressure on, clearly. Yeah. It just helps that Palu has these ability, has the options to space out, and you have a bigger stage where he can do that. But oh, oh he went, he went, he, he wanted that stock to go away. Smub, <laughs> Smub goes has been going for a lot of F smashes, and he's been getting punished or even getting nothing off them the whole time. Side uh, B from ledge, yeah. Okay. Smoke again, town, small boss zones. Yeah. You're gonna die. To that, was back good, here. that was a good catch by Seagull. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely, it also can kind of, in general, it's really hard to get off ledge against both these characters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> both these characters having huge aerials. Um, Their advantage states are um, not okay. Yeah. But it's okay because Ridley sucks, so that makes it better. Yeah. Of course, yeah. But of course, on top of that, Palu's disadvantage, probably not as bad as Ridley's. No, absolutely not. I feel like once Palutena gets a combo start on Ridley, it's just not a fun time. Yeah, neutral is probably going to go in Palu's favor normally. Yep. But I don't. I didn't see what stage you picked. I don't know if they went back or not. I don't see. I don't. I, don't, see I hope you don't go back to back. town. I don't know yeah. why you go to town in the first place. But uh, counter pick. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, FD makes sense. I've seen Smub go to FD a lot, okay. and this could definitely just due to the fact that I really has very big aerials, and he probably wants to just stuff out yep. approaches from Seagull. But the problem is, you're trying to stuff out approaches from Palu. Palu, yeah. A very hard character to really stuff out. No tech and wow. untechable, untechable either way. I'm surprised that was an untechable. He was at a, what, 90? Yeah. At the hit start? That's, that's, that's And in crazy. general, Palu counter kind of yeah, I never, I never, bad. I never see that counter, so. It's a really weird hitbox in interactions with moves, but there we can just see this yeah, stage pick is... It's not working out so far. This disadvantage is just absolutely brutal for Ridley right now. Yeah. Definitely... Oh, she's Ooh. expecting a roll there, but here. Really getting, really getting some damage off. That's what you need. Oh, tries to get a dash, dash attack, attack but... time. That Nair is big. 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 Comes with a lot of options. But, oh, that back here, too safe. Yeah, and right now, this is just not looking too good. He's only really able to get straight hits here and there, and that's going to catch yeah, him. Wow. Be the Smub has a huge hill to climb. Yeah, the momentum is all in Seagull's favor right now. And that forward smash, that was finally like got one. First forward smash. Finally got one. All said he's hit. Maybe that's, maybe that's what he needs. And down so Not going to get the dash attack follow-up, though. He's going to need a couple nares for that. Absolutely. That's damn. Yeah, this that's, is so much damage. You, can't, like, you make one mistake in neutral, you're at 77. <laughs> 
getting hit by the last hit. Goodness gracious. Yeah, getting hit by the last hit of the close to flame. And there we go. We can't even punish the back yeah. air attempt from Seagull. Yeah, you're dash grabbing, but hey, this is this right, is damage. As we saw last time, you can die early. Yep. Going for it again. That, it's not gonna that get two that. frames. Yeah, no. So definitely not a bad idea at this point. You kind of have to do that. Yep. Got to make come back somehow. Yeah. Seagull jumping early. Can I go for it again. No, he's gonna have to go for that. What is that? Four tail? Yeah. Okay. He does two frame. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know it, it was just poked a lot, but. See, no see recover. Oh, oh, that's not terrible. But he's, I mean, he's still, of course, got put in disadvantage. That's gonna kill. Yep. yep. Seagull's been really good at mashing out of those, but you're at such a high percent yeah, there, doesn't matter. Percent, and matter. now you're have and to get against Palu back air. And right, uh, and your shield's low. Right now, Smubba, he can use his momentum, though. He's uh, able to take those last two stocks pretty well. Yeah. Getting came to parry. This is all he needs. That would've killed. Hell yeah, for sure. Oh, so once again, do Ooh. teleport back to mid stage. The mix, teleport mix up once again coming out for Seagull. Yeah, and Seagull once again back at ledge. Oh, grab. Can you get the back? Hit. Fair kills? Yep. Yeah, fair kills. Ridley's, Ridley's, Ridley's light. relatively light. light. Yeah, big yeah. body light. He's lighted in Samus for, for some, some reason. reason. Hey, but I didn't I didn't make the game. I can't explain that to you. And that's going to be Seagull taking it. Yep. Uh, 2 0. Them 2 1. 2 1. Palutena. Palutena, everybody. Woo! Woo! We're gatekeeping again. Oh, man. Thankfully. I, I miss that. Not really. We need one consistency in life. <laughs> Anyways. So, I, let's see. Dexter vs. 17 is playing on Station 2. Opening at ZD. Does Gaia beat Kershawn? Oh, yeah. oh, oh is That's that huge, because last time they played, Kershawn kind of wiped him. In, at the, oh, there was a Halloween tournament. Yeah, now this guy's like, oh, you let a SGC you, you, play. Let, you, let a, you let a retired player. Like, come on. At least my retired joke is funny. So I'm not talk, <laughs> constantly talking. Like, my thing is just, ha ha, funny retired. This 